Well, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm doing my patches now. I have a split right here on this thumbnail. It's from this side all the way to about here. And uh, I'm not quite ready to um, take them back that far. So I've already got a patch on this nail because this is my wonky little nail. It's split right here in the middle all the way back down into the nail bed. So. I have decided to go ahead and patch that one, but I wanted to show you the new way I'm doing these. This is a gel acrylic, acrylic combo, and I learned this from Stephanie over at Sterling Silver Girl. I will leave a link to her channel down below. First, I'm going to start off with, um, well, first of all, I've cleaned the nail totally, and I'm going to be using this gelish foundation and this IB acrylic powder. It's just like a clear white powder. It looks clear on the nail. And I'll be using my um, LED lamp. So I just wanted to get started and show you guys how I'm doing this. Now I just took a patch off of this one and it was on there for like three or four weeks. And I was removing my nail polish with straight up acetone. And it didn't mess with the um, the patch that I had on there. I had to change it because the patch was growing out and it was getting crazy looking. Off to the side I also have a little tub of um, acetone. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was. Acetone in case I get any on my skin and I got my cleanup brush ready too. So let's just go on and get started. Now what I like to do is get as much of the product off of the brush and the stem of the brush because I like to do really thin coats. So I'm going to dip down in there and just get the amount that, you know, like a normal little blob. I'm going to be very careful applying this. Now, I'm not a gel polish person per se. I do have it, I do use it, but it's pretty rare. Um, and I have found that doing wicked thin coats is your best bet with gel polishes. And the biggest key is to make sure your nails are really clean and free of any oils or dust or anything before, you know, applying them. And I'm doing a super, super duper thin coat on here. I am going to cap my free edge with this just because it's a habit. But I definitely want to make sure I've gotten over here over this little split that I have going on. And now, since you don't have to be in a hurry with gel polishes, you have plenty of time to go in with your acetone and clean up any that you've gotten on your skin. Because you do not want to cure that. Um, it just It's just not a good thing. I think I'm good on that side. looking pretty good, pretty level, pretty even. So I'm going to pop it, and I'm sorry of the weird hand position, but I'm going to pop it in my LED lamp for, I think it's 60 seconds, and I will fast forward through this part. All right, and it's still got some sticky to it. So, um, and normally, actually, I normally dip it before I cure it, but I wanted to see how well this way would work also. We'll see. We're just going to test it out. And since nobody uses this acrylic powder, maybe I'm just dumping my finger down in there. Here we go. I'm going to get my old yucky brush and dust some of this off. Give it a little blip, blow all that stuff off. And now I'm going to go back in with more gelish. I need to move that out of my way because I'm going to end up knocking it over. I just know. 
So here we go. I'm going to do another super duper thin coat of the Jellish Foundation. I'm trying to make sure I get up all the way towards my cuticle and all that. I'm going to break out the cleanup brush again. So I got busy with the cleanup earlier and forgot to do a step. So we're going to see how well this, this works. Like I said, that other patch, it totally lasted for either three or four weeks. It was amazing. And, you know, I would forget that I had a patch on and I would go take my nail polish off. And I'd be using my acetone. And it did not bother it at all. Okay, here we go with the patch again. We're going to dip the patch again. We're going to dip with the acrylic. I'm just trying to make sure I get it all covered. I'm going to just dust this off just a little bit. Seconds. There we go. Now I can brush it off really well. Now, since this one, I believe that uh, we've got that pretty secure, I'm going to go ahead and buff this down just a tiny bit. Make sure it's nice and smooth. this one off again. Actually, I'm going to spray it with some alcohol and wipe it down just to get, get it all squared away and ready for my final coat. Okay, we're going to go back in with this gelish foundation and I'm going to do a final layer of it and cure it. And this should be it. Now, if you've got a really, really, really bad one, you could do multiple coats of this and, you know, build it up. And I have a fly up in the Kool-Aid today. It's just, he's going to have to go. I'm making a mess with this one. Flies bothering me. Okay. <laughs> and fly. Okay, I'm closing the lid on that. And I'm going to bring back my paper towel and my acetone. Be very diligent and make sure I get all this foundation off my skin. It's worth it to take the time to really do a good cleanup on it because, 
you don't want to get that on your skin and have it cured onto your skin. I mean, it will eventually come off, but it's just going to be, you know, bothersome until then. And with gel polish, you have time to clean it up. You, you don't need to be in a rush. You got time. So I am all done. Um, I'm not tacky. I did wipe um, wipe it down with an alcohol, you know, swipe just just because, you know. But for the most part, I don't even think you can tell there's a patch on there. It's um, it's you know, it's and it's secure. You know, I don't have any give on that. So I'm pretty happy about it. And. Uh, I will leave a link for Miss Stephanie's channel down below, Sterling Silver Girl, and you can go see her, um, her, her video and maybe watch some of her other videos. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. I, you know, I always love chatting with you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon.